خلاص حاحكي بحكي؟ نحكي؟ اوكي بحكي I'm a musician, but I hate the music industry because it revolves around very, 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 very bad things. A lot of people get surprised when they, when they learn that I'm religious. Do you really want to hear that story? <laughs> like I... Okay, when I was growing up, my mother is religious. Automatically doing what she told me to do. Not fully understanding what I was doing. Uh, by the age of 18, 18, 19, I became an atheist. I wanted to be free because I felt like what I was doing was like just, I felt dictated and I just felt like I didn't have any freedom and I couldn't do anything. So that way, that made me like a rebel. <laughs> I wanted to do everything like my mother told me not to do, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm free and everything and I'm like, you know, enjoying my time or what, doing whatever. But I always like noticed that there's something missing. There's something spiritually missing in my life. And I couldn't understand and I couldn't figure out what that thing was. I did some research. I read some Osho books. I, I just tried so many things just to fulfill that thing but that never happened never happened it never like i was never able to fully like feel like comfortable on the inside as much as i do now there was a dark period of my life where i i'm sure everybody goes through this i felt like خلص, like i was extremely depressed and uh, i felt like there's nothing i could do i felt powerless so my very, very last resort, very last resort, which is like bizarre because I haven't, because at the time I haven't been in the mosque for seven years. Imagine, like 500 meters before reaching the mosque, you got tears left and right. Tears, 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 tears. You got so much tears going on. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Where are these tears coming from? Like, why am I crying? I wasn't even sad or anything. I was just going, going on my way to the mosque because my mother asked me to. Since it's my last resort, I went. It's not hard to start slow, gradually. It's, it's, it takes a lot of patience and discipline. And, but once you do that, you realize the reward is just much, much greater. It's just overwhelming, really. Like I, not in a million years, thought that I would like convert back and best and what can I say? Like Subhanallah, like it's, it's not just, it, it wasn't planned for. It's just God already had a plan for me. I was never a bad person. There are many like me, the Makano, when I was an atheist. Like, في كتير عالم atheist بس كتير أوادم بكون عندهم أخلاق مسلم. المسلم اللي بروح بيصلي ما عنده إياه. Telling you that you are a sinner and you're going to hell and you're gonna fry and and there's no way say in saving you, خلاص. Like they gave up on you immediately before they even know you. If you like get like a sinner or like a kafir or whatever, khaya atheist. If you get him to talk to a sheikh, you know how many judgments that sheikh is gonna make in in his head, even if he doesn't say them. That's not Islam. You have to be open for all people and gradually, gradually throw, throw the good words at them. You can't force religion on anybody. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Well, I was, it was enforced on me and I left it for seven years. But SubhanAllah, God wanted me back. So I, seven years later, I'm back. With the exception, before I go to the stage, before I go on stage, I read Al-Fatiha. I want to say that I was talking about English on this video. 
بس لانه بدي العالم كله يفهم شو عم بحكي بس انا ما عم قلل من اهميه لغتي و و that's it